We shoot most of the Digital Trends car review videos out on Portland International Raceway. And, in most of the videos, I appear to have a blast out on the track, skidding around, laughing, and raising hell, more often than not, though, truly getting a kick out of the cars requires some acting on my part. I'd like to thank the Academy. While it's true that most performance cars are enjoyable to drive, like the Jaguar F-Type or the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Few hold up on the track. That's because they're designed not for apexes and chicanes but rather for rolling hills and running full throttle between red lights. The BMW M235i, though, is a different story. During our shoot of the M235i, I found myself in driving Nirvana on the raceway. Calm, comfortable and collected, I tackled the track as hard as I could from behind the wheel of the new baby Bimmer. But the whole story of BMW's smallest M performance model is a bit more complicated than that. The BMW 2002, if you've never driven one, is a nimble little German performance coupe. It perfectly combines quaint design with Teutonic precision and driving dynamism. The BMW 2002 if you've never driven one, is a brilliant little German performance coupe. When it first debuted in 1968, it rightfully helped ignite the stateside BMW craze. Since its heyday, though, Bimmers, like virtually all luxury performance cars, have become much bigger, heavier brutes. Today's Bavarian brutes are loaded down with heavy performance bits. Electronics U2026 and German Magic. These improvements have made them brilliant to drive, but woefully complex. TTT eager to recapture its once simple past for the reimagining of its stateside entry level. Model BMW looked to the 2002 for inspiration. It shows, like its iconic predecessor, quote, 